What I like about coyote hunting is, for one, every hunt's different. Every hunt's a challenge. You have to really study the farm that you're going to and figure out, you know, where do you think the coyotes are and where they're going to come from and where you need to sit accordingly. I like to try to sit somewhere with a good vantage point. You want to always be aware of where your wind and where your wind is going. And a lot of times the coyote will actually come downwind of you or the call and smell what he's hearing before he comes to the call. They smell for their food, you know, they smell for danger. They live by their nose. So any kind of inkling of smell from you, I mean, they're gone. I mean, it's over with. To me, the better times of the year to hunt is December, January, February, you know, kind of the colder months. But you can get out and kill one in the summertime too, you know, county hunting is legal year round. We're at a cattle farm right now, you know, here in a couple months these cows are going to start calving. Cowdies have been known to get into calves and they cost the farmers a lot of money. You can use pretty much any weapon you want in coyote hunting. I use a 22 250. It's a small, quick bullet, good out to three, 400 yards if you can shoot that far. If you don't care about the pelts, you can use a seven mag. I mean, you can use whatever you wanted. If you're hunting in a thicker woods or a thicker area, you might consider using a shotgun. Well, it's a cold morning. This is a new farm. I got permission to coyote hunt. The farmer, uh, he's got some cows and stuff out here, and of course he wants the coyotes gone. I'm gonna try to slip back here and see if we can pull a couple out of the thicket. We'll sit on this fence line somewhere. You can see this whole field here with some thick cover at the very end of it. Oh my gosh. We got coyotes howling down here right now. We gotta hurry up and set up. <laughs> we gotta hurry up and get calling. There's coyotes down here howling right now. Typically, I put the call anywhere from 30 to 50 yards away from where I sit, but today we were in a rush to get set up, so I put probably 20 yards out. And I had a decoy out. A lot of times that decoy takes the focus off of you. The coyotes are focused on that decoy, so you can get away with a lot more movement. I started out with a lone female howl. I waited maybe two minutes and went directly into a rabbit distress. You know, it's 18 degrees out here and it's in the middle of the winter, so a coyote cannot pass up an easy meal like that. It wasn't five minutes into the calling sequence when we spotted two coyotes coming over the hill towards us. Right here, right here. There's two of them coming over the hill right now. See if we can get this other one to come back. Here it is, right here, right here, right here. I don't know about that one. Whew. We got one down. There's at least one more. Right here, right here, right here. Right. At the very left, to the left. You ready? Yeah. Damn. My gun was on safety. Come on, 
There's two down. Man, there's coyotes everywhere. That's a third one. That's a, that's a completely different coyote. I just happened to look around and he was back there. Let's go check these out. Anytime you can go out and kill a coyote, it's, you know, it's, it's an awesome time. It's a great set. But if you can pull out two on the same stand, it's really something special. Here he it is. It's like a male. He's definitely not this year's coyote, I wouldn't think. We checked out the first coyote and it was a big male. I'm assuming the one that you know came in with him was this female. You know, it's close to February. Their breeding season is upon us, so a lot of times this time of year they'll be paired. I was able to make a good shot on this one, put him down right here. We do have another one on the opposite side of us where we were sitting, so let's go check him out. Here's the second coyote right here. Let's see what we got here. It's like this is a female. If I had to guess, I would think that this is a yearling. The second coyote was a young female coming in for an easy meal. Apparently she didn't care about all the commotion that was going on because she was coming in without a care in the world. We would have never seen this coyote. This is directly straight behind where we were sitting and I just happened to look over my shoulder and then there she was. I just, I got lucky. <laughs> you know, coyote hunting, it's for anybody. Anybody can do it. You can do it anywhere. There's coyotes everywhere. So it's a year round thing you can do and it's a great pastime between deer season and turkey season. It's completely different from deer hunting or the turkey hunting. You have to outsmart a predator. There's such a smart animal. The landowner should be really happy and I will definitely be back to this farm.